Dani Group uh, goes. Let's see what happens in the days to come. Thanks, Ashmit, for joining us. Uh, moving on to the Aero India, which is uh, taking place in Bengaluru. India's defence might was in full display on day one of the Aero India show, touted to be Asia's biggest aviation programme. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the five-day event in Bengaluru. He said that the event reflects India's new strength and aspirations. More than 800 companies from 98 countries would be participating. MOUs worth 75,000 crore rupees are expected to be inked. Ritu Singh gets us all the action from Aero India. Ladies and gentlemen, they're just rolling. हमारा लक्ष्य है कि 2024-25 तक हम एक्सपोर्ट के इस आंकड़े को डेढ़ बिलियन से बढ़ाकर पांच बिलियन डॉलर तक ले जाएंगे। Well, Prime Minister Modi today inaugurated the 14th edition of the Aero India here in Bengaluru, hoping to garner investments of more than 75,000 crores. Several global players present here at the exhibition. We spoke to many of them. Boeing, for instance, said it will look to expand its presence in India and set up a logistics warehouse. Uh, it expects significant demand to come from in, in India and wants to garner a large chunk of that. Uh, Swedish major Saab also said uh, it is bullish on India's defense market and said while it had mutually called off the MOU with Adani Group, uh, it would not say no to a potential future partnership, although it did not comment further uh, on this matter. Uh, France based Thales also said it will expand its footprint here and double down on hiring as it completes 70 years in India. A billion dollars or 8,000 crores every year, that is the exports or the sourcing we do from India each year, yes. right? Yes. Of which two-thirds is manufacturing. Yes. Um, in terms of investments, there's an additional $200 million campus that we're doing right here in Bengaluru. Okay. And then um, this logistics center, you know, we don't have an exact number, but it'll be in the in the 200 crore realm uh, of investment. Well, you've said that you decided to part ways with the Adani Group mutually, uh, but in future, if an opportunity does arise, would you look at partnering with them again, or have you severed ties for good? I, we, we, I don't say no to anyone when it comes to that. It's depending on the situation. In certain cases. Company A is better than Company B, and Company C could be better than Company D, and so forth. So at this door, we are not closing any doors for future partnerships. We see a great potential uh, to develop our presence in India and to uh, not only address the Indian market, which is obviously very attractive, yeah. but also address the global market from India. Mm -hmm. So our engineering centers. Uh, in Noida and Bangalore currently represent uh, 1,400 uh, engineers uh, uh, and we plan to double this number by 2026. More than 800 companies are going to be participating in this five-day-long exhibition. About 100 of them are foreign companies and more than 700 are actually Indian companies, which includes some of the MSMEs and startups that will be showcasing their niche technology, the growth uh, in the aerospace and defense capability that they've achieved in the last few years. The theme this time around for the event is runway to a billion opportunities. And with the government's Make in India push, Indian companies also see huge potential for growth. Uh, we already have uh, uh, surprisingly very large export orders mm. uh, for our artillery guns. Mm. And five years ago, if anybody asked me would I ever be exporting artillery guns to Europe, mm. yeah. I, would, I would have said no. Okay, because I, I, I never thought that this could be possible. All right, on that note, we take a short break, but uh, when we return, we get you a special interaction with Nissan's global CEO, Ashwini Gupta, on the India investment announcement and their renewed commitment to the India market.